Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a series that I run. It premieres every Saturday, 3 p.m. UK time. And the live chat section is there for support group, get together, coffee morning, however you want to use it. Um, we can all chat in the comments section, chat makeup, chat life, whatever you want to talk about. Um, I started this because mental health is so, so important and even more so in the times we're in at the moment with the pandemic. So, uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to have kind of a get together, support each other. I've already done my skincare and primed my face. I've used the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I really like this one. And the foundation I'm going in with today is the Huda Beauty. It's the Faux Filter Luminous Matte. Um, I love the original one and I have that in my summer shade. Um, so I have this one in Creme Brulee, which should, crikey, <laughs> should be my winter shade. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Ooh, crikey, it's actually really, really pale and really yellow. So, what have you guys been up to this week? I think we finally got some, well, nice-ish weather. Still a bit on the cold side, but... The rain appears to have stopped. We shall see. Yeah, this one doesn't have a smell at all. Not at all. But I really like the smell of the original one. I know loads of people didn't. But I really like it. And the only reason I'm not wearing that one now is because it's my summer shade and it is way too dark. So, uh... That will be coming back out when I've got a tan. Uh, what else has happened this week? Oh, where obviously I've been inactive and everything for such a long time. Um, my back and my knees, well, my, all of my muscles are pretty weak. Um, but my knees just keep giving way. Like I went to stand up to get out of the bath the other day. And uh, my knee gave way on me and I came crashing down <laughs> in the bath and I've got a very nice bruise on my side. So my boyfriend picked me up an exercise bike because um, that way I'm not having to stand. Um, I'm hoping it's pretty difficult to fall off of an exercise bike. Um, but anyways, yeah. So he's picked that up for me in the hopes that that will help strengthen my muscles and and my knees. Because yeah, at the moment I can't walk far at all and going up and down the stairs is quite scary. So I have a lot riding on this exercise bike. Well, the foundation is looking, it's looking nice. See, personally, I wish this had the same smell, but I know I'm in the minority there. So yeah, so far, so good. So for general spot concealing, I'm going to go in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. I love this concealer. I have these really nasty acne kind of bits that have come up on my neck um, so you'll have to excuse them I don't think any amount of makeup is going to cover them up so hopefully they're kind of camouflage enough but you can't have it all so I refuse to film with a filter because uh, it's so unrealistic I'd much prefer for people to see my imperfections, my scars, my kind of my acne, etc. Because 
that's real life you know if you have perfect skin you're extremely lucky because the majority of people don't we've all got things that we don't like but that is life I can't say I've fallen in love with this foundation right away which I did with the original one um, but we shall see we shall see how it wears and for under the eyes I'm using the Madage Beauty it's the Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer in the shade Medium Light Porcelain I really enjoy this so I've also had some new products arrive and uh, be trying some of them out today. I have a few bits from P. Louise to try, which I am really excited about. You will see why when I show you. I'm really enjoying using this brush actually for under the eye. I think it's uh, it's almost like it kind of mimics finger tapping. I don't know, maybe I'm making it up, but I really like it. So I've been trying not to set my under eyes because where my skin is uh, drying out at the moment, I don't want to emphasize anything. So, uh, hmm. so I'm next going in with the Sosu Cream Contour Stick in the shade Cool. So yeah, not only do I have these new products from P. Louise, but I do have the Spellbook collection coming from Cursed Cosmetics. Um, so that's the Spellbook palette and three liquid lipsticks, which I'm really excited for. Um, I do have some varying other bits. I have... Hang on. I'll just leave the rest as a surprise. Um, I did get the um, the Joyous Ice Fish from Sigil Inspired by Tammy Tanuka and I have already filmed with that and that should have gone up yesterday as you're watching this. So this week I upgraded my phone so I have a new phone and my old phone I'm filming on and using for taking pictures for Instagram um, it's going to make the new releases video so much easier to record because I won't have to write everything down I can just sit on my phone and look through it so yeah anyways I need to actually do something whilst I'm rambling I am going in with the made by Mitchell blush cream blush in the shade mango to Kiri I love this it is so beautiful yeah these blurishes I can't help but laugh when I say it um I have two shades I have the mango to curry and I have posy rosy and they are both really really nice really really nice yeah if you like an orange blush I recommend this it is a nice true orange and the formula is just lovely so the powder I'm going to be using today is the Laura Mercier the translucent loose setting powder I really love this one I do have the glow one as well which is a really nice powder just to kind of add that bit of glow where you want it now try not to take too much powder because uh, old skin <laughs> aging skin I'm quite sure <laughs> how else to put up I just kind of tap the powder in it's 
So have uh, any of you guys ordered anything new from the new releases that are out at the moment? Be intrigued to know what what things you've ordered and just to find out if there's anything that you want to see me use on my channel so do let me know and if I can I will right now I'm all powdered down I'm gonna nip off and do my eyebrows because they take ages and this video is going to be a long one so I'll get that done and I'll come back in just a moment okay so brows on I've tried a new shape let me know what you think so the next few products are new but I need to let you know about the amazing deal that they have on and um, this isn't sponsored at all in any way but I thought you guys might like to know so I've just checked and as of today which is Friday um, the deal is still on so fingers crossed it will be tomorrow when you see this um, but the deal is you get the worldy palette which firstly look at this you've got the pink sand <laughs> um, so yeah the worldy palette and open her and she looks like this beautiful um lots of gorgeous greens and that in itself is worth over 40 pounds so for 40 pounds you get the worldy palette you get a 30 mil base pro you get a choice of the acid rain paints um i chose nitro You get a choice of coloured bases. Of course, I chose green. This is green with envy. And you also get a hashtag 117 brush. So this is a little one like that. So for £40, you get all of that. And if you were to buy it all separately, it would be, I believe, £93. But you get all of that for £40, which is cheaper than the palette on its own. So, I thought I would mention that. So, apart from my P. Louise base that I already have, which is, I believe, a smaller version of this, um, I haven't tried anything else from P. Louise. So, I am so excited to try these eyeshadows. It's unreal. So excited. So, let's get the base on. I actually really like these bases. Oh, I've got the white one as well, and I have used that. And I really like it. So I've been catching up on some of Make Me Up Misses videos, and I really want to try out the uh, shape that she does with her eyeshadows, so Obviously, I don't have the talent that Missa has, but I shall give it my best shot. Yeah, Missa's just a, a natural. I'm just putting a little bit under my eyes also, and I'm going to prime right out because I am going to be taking the shadow right out, which is kind of why I did my my brows like they are all right okay so firstly i'm going to be going in with barrier reef which is this one here this is really difficult to hold up so i'm going to be kind of stamping out the shape there this colour is stunning. At the moment I'm just kind of stamping it on. This is beautiful. I yeah, like Katie, Makeup for Lost Time, she loves these eyeshadows. And every time I see her using them and see how passionate she is, I've been just desperate to try. And this palette in particular 
um, mainly because of the the greens. I'm not gonna lie. This colour is just so stunning. It is unreal. I'm not so worried about my lid because I am going to be going in with that green base. Okay, so now I have stamped out. I'm just going to take a bit on uh, a fluffier brush just to blend the edges a little bit. Oh, this is so easy. I'm so annoyed with myself for not trying these sooner. That is beautiful. And then just with the original brush, I'm just going to just take it onto my lower lash line just to kind of Join them up. So next I'm going to go in with Rodeo Drive, which is this one here. And I'm going to use that just over the edges and blend out a little bit more. That one hasn't made much of a difference, to be fair. And then I am next going to go in with, I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with baggage. This is more like it. Oh, look at this. And just taking that under the eye as well. Oh, these are so pretty. Now, there wasn't enough of a difference really between uh, Rodeo Drive and Barrier Reef. Um, they are different colours, but it's not quite different enough for what I was wanting them to do. So I will go back in and re-intensify them all. I'm trusting the process. I know it looks pretty damn crazy now, but I'm trusting it's all going to come together and then to blend that out even further I'm going to go in with when in Rome I love these colours. So yeah, taking that just right up. I'm gonna to need to go back in and re-intensify everything. Okay, liking that. And then just back in with baggage a little bit there. To bring that back. So I'm just going to quickly re-intensify all of them. I will uh, speed you through it so that it is not too long. OK, 
Okay, so to deepen it up a bit more, I'm going to go in with the Alps, which is this one here. So just taking this tucked right into the outer V and lower, lower crease. <laughs> I can't think straight. So this is my first time trying to uh, trying to do my eyeshadow miss away miss away the way missa does but i am really enjoying it i do like a challenge when it comes to makeup rather than just sticking with the safer options all the time So now I'm going to cut my crease using the Green with MV base. Right, I shall try to not get my mirror in the way. I'm just first going to be just carving it out using the little brush. And then just filling it all in. So cut crease base done. Firstly, I'm going to go in with Vacay, which is the yellowy one. <laughs> this is really difficult to hold up, so apologies. So I'm going to take that but just to set the inner part there. Oh, look at that colour. And then using the other side of the same brush, I'm going to go into... When in Rome. Not a massive difference between the two shades, but it's enough. So you're just taking uh, a brush that we have one of the deeper greens on and just kind of smudging the edges of that slightly. And then in with Barrier Reef. so pretty and then in with baggage kind of tie them two together a bit better just taking some of that darkest color the alps just to not lose that depth there and just taking a little brush I'm going to go in with that yellow vacay and use that to kind of almost highlight the brow bone there and then with the same shade that vacay I'm going to use that there's the inner corner highlight, seeing as we are all matte today. I'm just packing this on the inner corner just to get the get the most out of it. Now I know it's not as good as Mrs, but I'm actually really happy with how this is looking. 
I'm sure all of you do know who Missa is already, but I will link her channel in the description box below just in case you don't know who she is, um, because you really should. She's amazing. I'm going to nip off and do my liner and lashes, and then I will come back to continue the look with you, so don't go anywhere. Okay, so I have finished my eyes. I'll just let you know what I've popped on before we continue. So I went along the edge of the cut crease with the Lois Cosmetics Easy Rain Liquid Eyeshadow in Kingdom. The wing is the Melt Ultra Matte Gel Liner in Wallflower. In my waterline I have the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Extra Frosting. The mascara is the Madeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. And the lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics in the style Artitude. So the bronzer I'm going in with is the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade Dune. This is such an amazing bronzer. Amazing. I don't hear enough people talking about this. I love it. For blush, I'm going in with the Pout and Shout Contrary Mary. It's a beautiful orange. I think it's going to go perfectly with this look. Yes. Again, these blushes I cannot praise enough. Pout and Shout's blushes are literally high-end quality and uh, she's a very new indie brand. Look at that. Pigment with blendability. Perfect. So the highlighter I'm going to be using is from Pout and Shout. It is my new one. I haven't used this yet. It's called Sunny Days. This is the outside of the packaging and this is the colour of the highlight, beautiful yellow. Oh, look at that. Stunning. Both the blushes and the highlighters from Pout and Shell, I highly, highly recommend. The formula is just amazing. It's definitely high-end quality. I'm going to pop a bit of that under my brow bone. Oh, that's perfect. Then for lipstick, I'm going to go with the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in Moonstone. So there we go. This is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, or if you are here for the live chat, then let me know what you think. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself actually. I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. I know it is nowhere near the standards of Missa, but so yeah, I'm really, really happy with this, and uh, I have to say, so impressed with the P. Louise eyeshadows. So impressed. So yeah, I am so, so happy that I have the Worldy palette. So, so happy. And uh, yeah, if you want to grab a bargain, I will pop the link to the P. Louise website in the description box below. Go check it out. I think there's some other deals on there as well. But it was the Worldy palette that I was after, so that's what I got. So yeah, 
so yeah that is about it from me for today if you have liked this video please give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you're new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I do a lot of colourful looks and I'm a huge supporter of indie brands. Just a makeup lover in general. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So for those of you who are here for the live chat, Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm sure we've had a great chat in the comments section. And for those of you watching at a later date or time, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.